check out and then you will get an email the first email you're gonna get is your welcome email and it's gonna give you a link to your billing portal the billing portal is pretty much where you upgrade your change your credit card number if it's expiring or if you want to upgrade your plan to a to a faster plan you want to buy new features or you want to cancel or whatever this is where you do that the second email you're gonna get from HostGator is going to have a link to your main control panel there you, that you're going to use to install WordPress. And uh, as you can see, it has your username and the password is already generated for you. Now, click on this link, click on the control panel link and open it in a new tab. Log in with your username and password. You can just copy and paste them from the email and log in. Now this is your main hosting account panel. Now there are a lot of icons here, but don't get scared. We're only going to use like a couple of these. Most of these you're never going to need to use. Like it's it looks scary. There's so much stuff going on, but all you need here is you need WordPress. Another thing you're probably going to be using is email. If you want to set a professional email, like your name at your dot com dot your your name at your business name dot com or or whatever. Here under files, you're probably going to use the file manager, and actually you will be using the file manager. There's a couple things we got to do. I'm going to show you how to do that. And down here you have all these other options. You have your databases. This is more for professional web developers. You're not going to need to know any of this stuff. But if you ever need to go and change your settings or modify something from your control panel, this is it. This is where you're going to do that. All right, so let's install WordPress.